So culture is what you do consistently without thinking about it. So culture is, it's, uh, it's like the heartbeat of a business. It's just the way that you as the founder and your, your people in your team show up every day and go about their work. There are three things that are important. Like the first is that as a founder, you are the culture. Like the, the culture and the founder are so strongly linked. And the idea that you can have a culture that is different to how your founder is showing up to work every day is completely wrong. So the, the second thing is that culture is soft. That's absolutely not true. If your culture doesn't support your business to do the stuff it wants to do, your culture isn't working. So you can have a high performance culture that holds, holds people extremely accountable to what you need them to do. And it can still be a great culture. The other thing is that some cultures aren't nice, but they still work for the business. So just because your culture isn't nice doesn't mean it's bad for the business. So I've worked with some companies, never in them because it's, this doesn't work for me, but I've worked with some companies where people are genuinely not interested in how your week was. They don't want to know about your kids. They don't want to know about your sick dog. And that culture may not be terribly pleasant to work in, but it's very effective for the business. That's a good culture. Also, it means that you're only going to attract people that want to work in that culture, which immediately makes them good for your business. The third thing is that culture is something that can happen later. Um, culture happens the moment you start your business. Even if you're alone in your, in your kitchen, culture is happening because the founder is the culture. So you can't wait. It's happening organically anyway. So you may as well just make it intentional from the beginning. So one of the things that I've seen is people think, oh, we need a culture now. And then they copy and paste what they think tech culture is and they drop it into their businesses. And then suddenly we're all looking like it's like 2004 Silicon Valley and it's just ping pong tables and beer and pizza. And that isn't appropriate. I don't, I mean, how much beer and pizza can someone drink and eat? But it's also, it's not authentic. Like maybe you're not ping pong people. Maybe you're like first person shooter game people or maybe you're chess people. Like this idea that, um, that a culture is something that we need to aim for, that we see a good culture and then we must go there is completely wrong. Culture comes from inside us. It comes from inside the founders. It comes from inside the dynamic between the founders and their first employees. And you need to embrace what is truly authentically you and you in your business and turn that into a culture because then it's also sustainable.